Hello everyone and welcome to what I'm calling the Blue Medicine. It's got many names, bilberries, bayberries, wild blueberries is what I'm talking about. They're very small berries indeed and they're a deep blue colour and they grow on shrubby plants in moorlands, especially in the Western world, Northern Europe, USA, places like that. So for my dose, I'm going to take a full teaspoon of these berries and I'm going to cover them with water. And for the best results, I'm going to leave these overnight. So what will happen is those berries will absorb the water and the water will absorb the flavours. So what is so special about wild blueberries? A great deal. The first thing to say to you is that we often think about needing to go to exotic parts of the world for really powerful healing medicinal plants. And yet here's one that grows almost on my doorstep. All I need to do is get in the car and drive to some more land. And July, August is the time that you'd be harvesting these berries. And that's something I intend to do this summer. However, in the meantime, what I've done is I've bought them. Now, you can get these from Amazon. Personally, I would recommend more than anything to get hold of the berries which you can get which are freeze-dried. So let me go into a little bit of detail about this miraculous plant. It grows in the parts of the world which are less hospitable, like moorland, for example, highlands, and it has got such an extraordinary ability to survive. So there are many hundreds of strains of these berries which grow in a wide variety of conditions. And something special about them is they are not really amenable to domestication. In order to get the best results in to grow in this way. So these are completely different from the berries that you might find in the supermarkets called blueberries which have been cultivated. They have a fraction of the healing power that these little berries have. And the way I want to explain it to you is as follows. If you have ever been leveled by life, if you've had the stuffing knocked out of you, if you've been on your beam ends, if you've been up shit creek all the way, and you've been through really severe life experiences, then this is the medicine I recommend to you. And because that's the case, it does work very effectively to treat a lot of conditions, including the major life-threatening conditions like heart disease and cancer. Now, this plant medicine works in the same way as all other plant medicines. When you put this into your body, and I'm going to strongly suggest to you to start with that you have them the way I do, which is literally scooping them out with a teaspoon, chewing them thoroughly and getting those flavours into your body and tasting them to their fullness. So this is what we call dieting a plant. When you diet a plant, you pay conscious close attention to that plant, you give gratitude when you consume, you put love in as you prepare them, and you know that this medicine has the power to heal you on the deepest of levels. So. The way these plant medicines work is when they go into the person's body, they triage, they find out what is the thing that most needs helping with, and they devote their healing powers to helping that particular aspect of the person, the greatest presenting issue. And one of the things that gives us a clue as to their power is that occasionally the lands where they are grown catch fire in the summertime. And what happens is that all of the plants except for the blueberries will get burnt to the point that the only thing that's going to survive is the seeds. So the seeds of the other plants survive the fire and that's how you get regrowth on areas that have been devastated by moorland fires. However, when it comes to the blueberry plant itself, although it might like just as charred and as burnt up as all the rest, it doesn't actually die. It has the power of the phoenix inside itself, which is to be burnt up and to come back to life. So this gives you an idea of the extraordinary power of the plants. And then the other thing that was found out, which to me is fascinating, is generally speaking, any plant material that you freeze, when you come to use this in the future, its potency is diminished from the moment that you picked it and harvested it, just before you put it in the freezer. 
Not so with these berries, because just as much as they can survive and thrive from the experience of being burnt up in fire, when these berries are frozen, this also increases their potency even more. So, freeze-dried wild blueberries would be the ideal way to go. And if you can't do that, then you could just get your packet of dried blueberries and put them in the freezer. That would also help. So what you've got here is an extraordinary plant medicine which works to heal a very large number of conditions. And I would want to include depression in amongst all the many conditions that it heals. And the way these plants do so is by combining the strength of what I call fire and ice because these two things which could so easily destroy or diminish causes the wild blueberry to come back stronger than ever and it's very important to check your label so it says here wild harvested that's what I want to know so I know they are wild blueberries I'm trusting the label and the certification on the packet as one always does uh, you trust it so you don't you trust that you get it so I invite you to explore these now I tend to find that the taste is so strong that it's almost difficult for me to finish that small amount and I find after having one dose I don't even want any for the next day or two this gives me a clue as to how powerful it is so it's the old story when we're talking about pharmaceutical drugs you increase the number of milligrams and you increase the strength of the effect not so when it comes to plant medicine I personally find that small amounts of these wild blueberries has such a healing power and they certainly helped me a lot this year in healing with the issues that I had with my back. So I thoroughly recommend to you exploring the wild blueberry, getting to know it, and to see how this can be a major force for healing in your life and the lives of the loved ones that you care to share this secret with. Thank you very much. So here I am the following day. It really does help to give these berries an overnight soak in cold water. You get the very best flavour. If you're in a rush, you can pour hot water on them and leave them for 20 minutes, but give them the time is what I recommend. So now I get my first taste. Mmm. That tastes really bites in there. Mmm, I can taste the depth and the strength of flavours. And I'm reminded the way you can detect the potency in the plant medicine is the strength of the flavour. Such a strong flavour is a very powerful and potent medicine. So if you've got serious health conditions, whether it's depression or an organic illness, I recommend you to have this every day for 21 days. See how it affects you. Work with these plants. Give gratitude to them for their power to heal. Mmm. That was always an amazing experience. Thank you, Wild Blueberries.